going to start off with a song that's uh, set in the uh, frozen wastes of northwest Canada, a place called Mercy Bay. Ten thousand pounds of price was set to find the Northwest Passage go down. So many ships had tried, and yet the ice flows will not let them through. Eighteen fifty was the year we sailed out of Plymouth. Go down. With a little fear Steel in our hull and our hearts We set a course for old Cape Horn And how to cross the ocean Go down And I worked the night watch Thus till no more Many a man had his dream From Bering straight to the boat but see the air was growing cold and go down The sea like rock in a mighty freeze This winter will just have to stay And the snow The end of the strait had not improved For the north of Banks Isle we did steer Crushed and held by the frozen cold In a candle that prison go, go down. down With a hot meal worth its weight in gold McClure says we mustn't give in But the stone Set out for the Melville Isle in search of our salvation. Go down. And his bulldog spirit, mile on mile, made up for him landing this year. In April 1853, the resolute sail. Go down. And at Melville I only found a note that told of our place and our plight. We left that ship in the frozen cold, we buried the poor men who died. Three mounds had looked out to the sea, 
the names written copper on wood. And we sail away on the northern star back to England's green once more. Held in high esteem by our empty words and ten thousand. Jerry Conway on drums. Jerry. Chris Thursday, author. He wrote it. Thanks. It's great to be back in the Union Chapel, and um, we're going to play you a song now from way back in, in 1970, written by Richard Thompson and Dave Cyril Eric Swarbrick, two people who wised up and left our band at an early age. <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> this is uh, track one, side one on the Full House album, which was the, uh, the, first, the very first track I played on all those years ago when I joined Fairport. And it's, uh, you probably know it, if you, if you know it, join in on the chorus. It's called Walk A While. Thank you. Two, one, two, tickety boo. <laughs>
Albert and Ted, Peggy and Rick. This next song appeared on a Fairport album in the early 1970s. It was um, on what we call a concept album. And uh, this was a particular album about a man called John Babacom Lee. And he was a man from Devon, uh, accused of a dreadful murder down there and uh, sentenced to be hung at Exeter Prison. And this song we're going to do next is a snapshot from the story. It's the moment where John is in his prison cell for what he believes to be his last night on earth before he's taken out the next morning. There's a tiny little window Where the sun comes shining through Dancing with the dust that's in my cell There's a sparrow sitting on the sill he stays for a minute or two But he's frightened by the ringing of the bell There's a bed that I must lie on When at night I take my rest and a chair for me to sit on through the day. The men who wait beside me always know what's best for a man who doesn't have too much to say
blow a tear against the wall Learn a game to play Improve the mind Confess your sins, you sinner And see how the seconds fall Leave all earthly cares and woes behind And when my short affair with life is ended and I'm gone Will you tell the world the story of John Lee? All you see is nothing, and yet everything lives on. I was born to pay the hangman's fee. John Galvey was a fine young man in Shetland, so it's told. When is the crowd in love with town is fickle and he did hold? They've danced it up, they've danced it down, as he took the tunes around. Of all the players in Shetland Downs, no better could be found. Well, well, when John broke prison, all Jerry had seen his life before. He ran back to the level with Shaw, wrote himself a tune. John had his eye on a fair young girl that lived not far away. His were not the only eyes, so good to say. It had come down to sand big mines, he in the copper bed. His rival dropped a hammer down, which took John on the head. When John broke the prison door, Jenny had seen his life before. He ran back to the level with Sean, wrote him something tune. It struck him as such a fearful blow, weakening his mind. It left him with his fiddling still, but a job he couldn't find. But now he was born to a fearful erase, the heat of the blazing sun. He would warn the friends nearby, find the coming on. And the half napkin felt this terrible heat. He was seized by many hands, locked in the tall booth. Under Sergeant Nichols' eye, the story tried to soothe. When John broke his own door, the jet had seen his life before. He ran back to the leather make sure, wrote himself in tune. Now, waking up on the prison floor, his temper got much worse. He'd been stamping behind the door, he began to swear and curse And pushing men with all of his strength, the door at last gave way He ran and he ran across the fields that no he meant to stay When John broke the prison door, Jerry had seen his life before He ran back to the level with Sean, wrote himself a tune When John broke the prison door, Jerry had seen his life before Ran back to the level with Shaw, wrote himself a tune. When John broke the prison door, Jerry had seen his life before. He ran back to the level with Shaw, wrote himself a tune.
Sasa Sayofa. The one we're about to do now, which was written by Sandy Denny before she joined the band, is about Mary Queen of Scots, and its title comes from her last, well, the place where she drew her last breath, which is a village in Northamptonshire called Fotheringay. She has gazed from castle windows old to watch the daylight passing beneath her captive walls with no one to heed her call. The evening hour is fading. Thank you. Here's a little song which was uh, written by a lady called Carolyn Evans, who's half of a, a duo called Red Shoes, her, her and her husband Mark. A couple of years ago, invited Chris and myself to play on their CD, and we had such a good time making the record with them. That's, we stole this song and, and put it on our Festival Bell album. Here is his Celtic Moon. Thanks very much. There's a lady who carries 
a burden And the lines on her face tell it all She remembers hearing sad stories But still dances at memory hall And the stars would come out just to see her clouds blew away all too soon Her face lit the heavens above her She was helped by the Celtic moon The Celtic on her fingers given to her by a boy she once loved barefoot they sat by the river sharing secrets with God of the above and the stars would come out just to see her and the clouds blew
Dave Pegg. franchise on how to lead them we've got the history and books to prove it give us a mountain and we will move it we rule the waves and seven seas we bring the mighty to their knees we offer hope and inspiration a fine example to lesson nations we are britannia the jewel in the crown System to the masses, divide the nation into classes. It's in our breeding and on our faces. At least we're all born knowing our places. We stay within our social borders. We only take what our class affords us. It doesn't matter that it's not even. This is the nature of the demon. We are Britannia. We are Britannia, we found an empire, we came and conquered, we tore their borders down, we need no conscience, God is on our side, we are Britannia, the jewel in the crown. From their dictators And for a small slice of your royal wells We'll send our boys in with their gun shells We are a refuge for the needy Always caring, never greedy Whatever gesture could be finer We ceded Hong Kong back to China We are Britannia, a jewel in the crown I went down to the hiring fair for to sell the labor. I noticed a maid in the very next row, and I hoped she'd be my neighbor. Imagine then my delight when the farmer picked us both. Though I spoke not a word on the cart to the farm, a heart beat in my throat. My 
Lodging was dry, my master fair, and I gave him full measure. Like corn in the field, my hand be grew, for in his house was my treasure. I'd watch her carry water or drive cows from the fire. And the heat from the sun made the corn grow strong. And with it, my desire. I'd see her in my dreaming and in my dreams caress her lips, her eyes, her long brown hair her curves beneath her dress when harvest time it came at length so heavy was our task that the women and the men worked side by side so I had her near at last I swung harder with my scythe Few words between us passed And I cursed my tongue-tied youthfulness And hoped she'd hear my heart When all was safely gathered in And we sat down to rest My trembling fingers brushed her arm And she placed them on her breast Scented ground till the moon rose over the field. gathered in my arms when from the barn they drifted the sound of the violin and we hurried to the farm we all were dancing in the lantern light and the music filled the air and I thank the Lord and the harvest moon for the girl from the hiring fair
Simon Nicole. Thanks to Ralph and Tal for the song. Ralph. Thank you. So, yeah, 40, 45 years of Fairport. 45 years of Fairport. It's incredible, isn't it, really? I can't believe it. This is a tune from the... Uh, uh, Festival Bell CD and it's called Danny Jack's uh, Reward and I did especially write this tune with our wonderful rhythm section in mind you cannot give them too many rounds of applause as far as I'm concerned on the drums Jerry Conway on the bass Dave Peg <laughs> yeah they deserve that
Mr. Rick Saunders, author. Blame him. Here is a song about uh, misadventure. It's a story which has not been out of the repertoire really much since it joined back on the Legion of Leaf album in 1969. Several people have sung it in succession, frequently using the same words. <laughs> but it's a story of upstairs, downstairs, misadventure, love gone wrong, trouble in paradise, castles, cuckoldry, and cutlasses. How do you like my feather bed? How do you like my sheets? And how do you like my curtains that I got in Ikea last week? Oh, well, I like your feather bed. Better I like your sheets. Best of all, I like your lady wife who lies in my arms asleep. Get up! Get up, get up, Lord Arnold. Try and get up as quick as you can. But it'll never be said in Fair England that I slew a naked man. Oh, I can't get up, but I I wouldn't get up for my life But you have too long beaten swords While I ain't on a pocket knife It's true, I have two beaten swords And they got me deep in the press But you will have the better than that And I will keep the worst And you will strike me the very first blow Strike it like a man I will strike the very next blow I'll kill you like that And he next blow, Matty struck no more. He took his own dear wife and he sat it up on his knee and he said, Who do you like the best of us now? Will you that can he grows on me? I let up his own dear wife, never heard her speak so bleep. I would rather one kiss from dead Matty's lips and you're all in your finery. Ah, that Lord Arnold, he jumped up loudly, did he fall? He struck his wife right to the heart and he pinned her up to the wall. A grave, a grave, Lord Arnold cried to put these lovers in. But once you're my lady at the top, 
But she was a broken kid. 